Hi lovelies, or welcome or welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be doing a Zara haul. I've spent quite a chunk of change at Zara and we are going to see whether she likes me or not for this haul. Now I spent about uh, £1,009 to be exact and so we're gonna see what I keep and what I return from this haul haul so this is one of those get a snack get a beverage kind of video because we are in this for the long haul excuse the pun so if you love fashion and all things style please I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel hit the like button and let's get into the video okay so let's get into this haul I'm going to be starting off with clothes just because they're more weighty and it's easier to get them out of the way but I have an array of items from clothes to outerwear to shoes boots accessories even beauty so we have got a lot to get through so let's get into it with the first item so first I have this gorgeous gorgeous green tailored coat now I recently did a, a winter coat styles video and this would come under the tailored formal coat style which is great so you know I don't just talk it I wear it too <laughs> so this is the formal coat and I love that it has the stamped gold buttons um, that adds something to you know just a tailored coat and also the green is absolutely gorgeous this would really stand out against an all black outfit or a green outfit there are so many ways you can wear this you can layer it on top of so many colors so it's an absolutely gorgeous green so yes the gold buttons stand out against the jacket and having you know tried it on of course this is a try on haul um, I got this in a size medium so having tried it on I am definitely keeping this because I love the way it fits I love the way it looks and it's something that you know stands the test of time so long as it doesn't fall to pieces on me but in terms of you know its style it stands the test of time in terms of you know going through trends and the years and things like that it's got a classic cut a classic style a classic look you know um with the gold details that just adds something a little bit extra so yes and i love that it's a wool mix so definitely a warm touch for the winter as well as a stylish touch for the winter so on to the next item okay so I guess sticking with green I have got these gorgeous green tailored trousers they're actually cropped and I must have you know wanted them so much I accidentally put two in my basket so yes but sadly 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 they are too big I got these in a size medium which is very strange because some of the other trousers from Zara I have gotten in a medium and they fit fine but these are way way too big and so sadly I will be returning these both of them <laughs> and just because of how the length falls on me the cropped length I think cropped for me looks better in a more fitted style and these are quite wide leg and so you know you have to be careful with the cuts and the fit of trousers because you don't want them to make you look stumpy so I will not be going a size down I will just simply be returning these so yes on to the next item Okay, so in my winter coats video, I did talk about the puffer coat, but for that video, I was showing a maxi puffer coat or padded coat. Here, I've actually got a cropped puffer coat from Zara, and I thought I'd try it out. It's, it was actually reduced. This is one of maybe, I think, two or three items that were reduced in what I bought out of five million. So um, this was reduced to well I think it was 25.99 originally 50 pounds so um, it's cute I, not much to say about this it fits fine it looks fine I think I'm just more of a long line style kind of girl and this you know it, I guess maybe takes some getting used to but there's not much to it it's a cropped puffer coat and it's cute it's cute it doesn't overwhelm me 
it's not the warmest thing I've ever tried on so it kind of leaves you in limbo in terms of the best time to wear it because obviously puffer tends to go with more colder weather but it's not exactly the warmest you don't want to get too hot in autumn or spring you definitely can't wear it in summer unless you know I don't know that's your thing but yeah it's just a weird weird piece so I don't know let me know down in the comments below what you think how it looks on and you know whether to keep or return let me know on to the next one so for the next item I have this gorgeous mini black dress yes mini black dress with a sequin hem I actually featured this in my last minute Christmas outfit ideas video which I will link above and yeah this is a gorgeous dress I actually love the padded shoulders which is kind of a good 80s nod and it's a simple dress it's an LBD that saves you at the last minute if you haven't prepared for a party or you say oh you know I don't have anything to wear this is a great thing to kind of pick out it does a lot of the work for you the sequins stand out the dress fits beautifully um, I would say I did get a medium and it fits I guess perfectly I'm more of a loose fitting in terms of a shift style dress and for me I think if I went a size up it would give me more of the shift style that I prefer so I'm not sure you know whether I'll keep the medium or go up but it's definitely a keeper in terms of the dress itself so yes on to the next one okay lovelies so the next item I'm showing you is this beige or cream coloured dress it's a knit dress um, it's ribbed in terms of detail and it is cute it's a very bodycon fitted style and um, Zara really really wanted to show it all with this dress now I'm not averse to a bit of cleavage but this dress really wants to let it all hang out and um, for that reason for me I don't think it's a keeper I mean if you are that you know that girl that you know loves to share your blessings um, this is a great option definitely a great option the slit I mean the slit is is given much slit because it's just a very oddly wide slit I'm guessing it's just a different style Zara wanted to go for but yeah very open at the top and open at the bottom so this will not be a keeper for me but it is a nice piece if you love that particular style <laughs> so on to the next item so next I have in the beige family again are these high-waisted crop trousers from Zara of course this is a Zara haul um, this is more my style in terms of when I was describing the green trousers because these are more fitted on the legs so even though they're crop they don't you know look stumpy or make you look stumpy and the high waist is very flattering this is also a size medium and it fits very snug so that's why the green trouser really kind of threw me off because that's also a medium but it was really really big on so yes I love this trouser I already have it black funny enough I don't have that many Zara pieces in my wardrobe but this I really love from Zara I got it in black I think about two three years ago and it works really really well it's just a nice simple kind of tailored trouser and they have it in a multitude of colours so whatever your style they have a pick for you so this is definitely a keeper so Zara may not have won me over with the puffer coat but they are certainly winning me over with their formal coats this gorgeous black this is a maxi yeah this is a maxi length on me anyway and it is absolutely gorgeous with the feather hem on the sleeves absolutely gorgeous obviously feathers are a big trend right now but what I love is that this only appears on the sleeves and so when the trend does die out of course it will come back again you know but when it does die out this is something you can still wear because it has a classic look to it a classic touch 
and it's not a statement feathered look that would you'd have to kind of tuck away when the trend dies down and to be honest I didn't even buy it for the trend I love the crossover style of the coat and I just love how elegant it looks I love where the pockets are placed just everything about it is an absolutely gorgeous coat this is 149 if i'm correct this is 149 in terms of price and it's not i guess the cheapest zara item but it is a wool coat a wool mix coat and it's warm it's stylish it's elegant so to me it's definitely worth it and it's definitely a keeper okay so next we have this gorgeous brown top that has a cutout detail on one side and it's a simple top you know the cutout detail adds something so it's not too plain but it's a simple knit top that you can mix and match with many outfits I love the brown you know brown is a great color on different skin tones and not much to say <laughs> a simple brown top it's nice and it's simple I would have preferred a longer length because it's one of those ones that if you tuck it into your trouser and you do a good yawn you're gonna have to be retucking other than that it's a lovely top so she's staying on to the next one right so last in the clothing category we have this gorgeous vest top that i'm wearing i love that it is simple but the brown is such a cute brown i guess it's maybe as close to skin tone or my skin tone as zara may get for me i'm not sure it wasn't supposed to be a nude but i did kind of just like the way it looked and so yes this is the top i'm wearing it now so obviously she is staying and I absolutely love it. You can just wear it casually, you can wear it smart casual as I'm doing now with the blazer and you can use it as a layering piece under dresses, under shirts, under different things, denim jackets that would look really nice. So yes, a simple vest top is definitely worth having in your closet in classic colours. So brown, beige, black, blue, those always work for many and almost any occasion. So yes, that is the end of the clothing. Let's now move on to shoes. So when it comes to the boots I have picked from this Zara haul, Zara have knocked it out of the park, as in, that's how much they have knocked it out of the park. I have these gorgeous, knee-high denim boots i have been looking for denim shoes for a while and zara killed it with this zara definitely killed it with these they had different options in terms of denim boots that i will put on screen as well for you to see but those weren't to my taste and i don't think um those are as versatile as these these you can kind of wear with everyday looks dressed up or down those are definitely more of a uh, personal uh, taste with those it's, it's kind of hard to get away with that you know run into the shop unless just that's your thing but back to these these are gorgeous the heel height is perfect they're so comfortable they're so flattering um on zara's website the the model wearing it had an option to wear it slouchy but i prefer it with the the straight look i think it just looks nicer and cleaner and they are just absolutely gorgeous yes they are very pointy but i'm happy with that i'm happy with them these are definitely a keeper these are 120 very hard to get a hold of um sometimes they come in and out and but they'll be the smaller sizes and things like that but you know i think you might be able to get them in stores but online oh it is a feat trying to get them excuse the pun so yes these denim knee boots are definitely a keeper on to the next one so like i said zara are definitely on to winners with their boots i got these gorgeous suede boots or booties in black of course and they have gold a gold metal flower detail and this is absolutely beautiful very much a statement piece and i used these 
to style a look in the Christmas outfits video so you can see them worn there and I will also show you how they look obviously in this video as well but these are just absolutely gorgeous they're so comfortable so 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 comfortable and they have these in pump versions and flats as well um, the flats are pointed and the pumps are square toe I am considering getting them but I will see kind of how it goes I'm not sure I don't want to go a bit too crazy but I'm really really happy with the ankle boots so yes okay so next in shoes I have these gorgeous green sling back heels they're a little more than kitten heels but I guess you could class them as kitten heels and they have the diamante bows on the front they're kind of a satin material and they are so cute so stunning so elegant what I love about them is that they're actually really comfortable they just look good on and I think these are perfect for the Christmas season now in saying that I also have these <laughs> so you would have seen me style these in other videos and I'm just in two minds about whether keeping these because I could easily put a brooch or a pin on these shoes to give the diamante look of course these are ankle tie shoes so a little bit different from slingback but not that much that I think justifying 60 pounds on shoes that I have something very similar to I don't know I'm in two minds because I really like them and they're so pretty but I also want to be practical so again let me know in the comments down below whether you think I should keep these or not on to the next shoes <laughs> okay so last in the shoe category I have these leather loafers these are the only shoes i bought that actually came in a box and zara were very cheeky with this order because i actually <laughs> ordered a gift gift packaging for this and that did not arrive and it just came in their standard brown box so yeah i wasn't too happy about that but we move on so these leather loafers are absolutely gorgeous for me i think they are the best Gucci dupes I have seen around because it's I think it's very hard to get the kind of rounded square toe um, you know some are too long some are too round some are too square and this is the best dupe now in saying that they look gorgeous but they look gorgeous here <laughs> On me I'm not too sure I've been wanting these for a while and I'm not too sure whether I'm gonna keep these just because they look quite long and they they fit really snug and I wouldn't go a size up because if they already look long in my actual size then I you know don't want to look like I'm wearing space boots by the time I go up a size so I think these might be a return these might be a return so let me know again in the comments below whether you like these and what you think about them but they are for me I, if anyone was looking for the Gucci loafer dupes these are the best so far that I have seen and I have seen quite a lot so these Zara ones are amazing and they are real leather so there is a possibility that they will stretch with time but I don't I'm not so enamored that I'm willing to to try that so they might likely go back okay so that is actually the last in the shoe category so we are going to move on to accessories you know what I am just gonna start off in accessories with my favorite favorite piece and it is this gorgeous pearl bag and I'm guessing just by the views you guys loved my mini and micro bag video review video and so this I guess would have been in there had I had it at the time but I did not but this is a gorgeous pearl 
um, mini bag from Zara, of course. I should probably stop saying Zara since it's a Zara haul. But yes, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very festive, perfect for the season. But of course, it's not just for the festive season. You can wear it beyond special occasions, even just with denim, you know, on a normal day for brunch or things like that. I think it works. I think he can dress up any look. I think you can, you know, wear it dressed up, wear it dressed down. It's just an awesome, awesome bag. And why I love this bag even more is because it reminds me so much of this black beauty that I got from Zara. I think it may have been three or four years ago. I can't even remember now, but it's really stood the test of time. It's absolutely gorgeous. Of course, it's black. It goes with almost any and everything. So I really love this bag. So when I saw this version, I thought, yes, yes, and yes. It um, doesn't have the clasp closure, but it does have the tie tie closure so you can just pull the strings and it will close the inner bag so it's kind of like a tie string bag I guess it has a silver chain uh, which is a crossbody strap which I will not be using because I don't really do silver but other than that I do love it and it has the pearl shorter handle which is how I will be using the bag and I did mention in my micro and mini review video for the, what bag was it? For the Coach Tabby Pillow Bag, you could put a pearl handle on it. And this pearl handle on the Zara bag is detachable. So I love that it offers you versatility to use the handle with other bags, or if you feel like it, I don't know, twist it over and use it as a bracelet. It's never that serious, but there is the option. So yes, on to the next item. Okay, next I have a hat. Now, this for me is definitely going back. So yeah, but I thought obviously I would show it to you because just in case it is your thing. Now it's definitely giving equestrian vibes and it is lovely. It's a wool hat and it is how much? I think it's 20 pounds. So it's not too bad for a wool hat, but the fit on me is not as flattering. So I think, well, no, I know this will be going back, but it's a cute hat if you love that kind of look, but I don't need my head to look taller than it is or longer than it is <laughs> so this is going back but cute hat anyway okay next in accessories I have this brown belt and while it looks really nice I find it just cumbersome in terms of putting it on and then strangely Zara decided to put the tag in one of the buckle holes which made it difficult to try on properly and see how it actually fits so I've done my best to try it on for you to show you what it looks like it's okay but I think a simple you know waist belt would suffice than this kind of contraption so yes this belt is going back and also as well as it just being cumbersome the red uh, sorry the brown has too much of a red undertone for me so i would prefer a kind of cooler brown which would complement more of the things i have in my wardrobe so that is always something to think about when you are buying pieces and clothing um, in terms of the undertones as well because if you wanted to do a monochrome look you know different shades of gray if that's what you're going for it's fine but if if you want something to complement something and it's kind of got a warm undertone and then you've got a cool undertone and it kind of makes something look like it's dirty as opposed to matching, then it just doesn't work. So for me, this having a red undertone when my other brown things have a cooler undertone just doesn't work for me anyway. So this is definitely not a keeper. Okay, lovelies, thank you for being with me for the long haul, but we haven't finished yet. So if you are still here, please put the heart emoji in the comments to let me know you've gotten this far and I really, really appreciate it. So let's get into home and beauty. So I decided to try out Zara's perfumes and only because 
in a snobbish kind of way they were created by Joe Malone so it was a collaboration so first we have this universal oud and I am not a perfume or scent connoisseur so I'm not even going to try and pretend to be but what I love about this I love the packaging it's simple but effective it has the cards with the gold writing this is universal oud if I didn't say that already and the bottle is quite cute you know Zara have tried to add a little bit of luxe to these things i'm guessing that you know they're collaborating with joe malone so it's not exactly the cheapest in their perfume ranges it's got the gold cap and when you first put it on for me anyway it has a kind of soapy smell but once it warms on your skin then you kind of get the woody notes the oud notes and that is enough for me so it's absolutely gorgeous i sprayed it just before starting this review and it's absolutely absolutely gorgeous so yes this is a keeper i mean it's yeah it's a keeper <laughs> so on to the next item okay sticking in the perfume range i got this fabulously london perfume from zara i think this is actually one of their popular fragrances because Every time I would go back to look, it would be sold out and then it would come back in again and it would be sold out and come back in again and sold out. This is $25.99 and the same for the last perfume, the Universal Oud that I just showed you. So it's soulful heartbeat always plays its own song and I picked it just because I'm biased. Obviously, I'm from London, live in London, so fashionably London suited me very, very well. So this is how it comes. This one has a cover the uh, universal oud one didn't so kind of this opens and i know they have a set because they have different cities tokyo i i can't remember the rest i'm not even gonna yeah but they have different cities so i just picked london and you can actually get it in a set as well but obviously i just wanted the one and it comes with a cute postcard fashionably london even with its little stamp um square as well so yes it's, this collection takes its inspiration from our return to the pioneering spirit of travel and the discovery of the vibrancy of life again, Joe X. So this is how the perfume looks. This one has a black lid or black cap and it's got the kind of silver, silver thing, screen thing on the front. <laughs> and yes, this is actually, this smells so nice. I tested this first it has a kind of sweet sweet smell to it um it takes some getting used to and i wouldn't spray it just before eating that's the only way i can <laughs> i can put it but other than that it's really really nice it lasts really you know a long time quite a few hours because i remember spraying it before bed and then i woke up in the morning and it was you know still a strong scent i was getting so i was really happy with that and yes definitely worth it in my book yeah happy to have it <laughs> So on to the next item in Home and Beauty. Okay, so sticking with scents, I decided to try something for the home, which is the diffuser. And it translates as leather garden from French. And yes, this is absolutely lovely. Pleasantly surprised how strong it is. And it's so lovely, it's pleasant, it's not too strong, but it's also not a faint scent either. So it definitely makes a difference to any room you place it in. And I just love it. I love how simple and pleasant the smell is. So Leather Garden from Zara's Diffuser line. Okay, so in Zara's beauty range, I decided to pick up this red lip gloss. Now it is pleasantly pigmented really really pigmented and this is what i have been wearing this whole video and it feels very moisturizing on my lips now i will say that it has a very you know stick sticky very sticky consistency like a gooey kind of consistency that kind of gloss you used to use when you were in school <laughs> 
kind of consistency but the pigment makes up for that how long lasting it is makes up for that but i will say i would probably not use this or wear this to a dinner just because of how sticky it is it doesn't have a long wearing consistency it rubs off easily and yeah I, would, I wouldn't wear this to dinner i would use it for photos or for something where i wasn't you know going to have the opportunity to smear it or you know because you also have to be careful of checking that you don't have some on your teeth it moves around a bit but other than that it is great in terms of the look you can see it's very shiny i'm usually more of a satin or a matte girl but i don't mind this for a difference in look so I'm happy to stick with this. I think they have other colours and I would be willing to try their nude but I'm not too sure yet. But red was definitely something I wanted to try out. So yes, the red velvet pigment lip gloss from Zara and this is in the shade Serenade. Okay lovelies, so we have reached the end of this Zara haul. It didn't feel as long going through it actually, but I guess we will see by the time this video is, you know, edited. Normally I would say a mini haul, but a haul nonetheless, but this was not a mini haul. This was this was a haul <laughs> so let me know in the comments down below which items you really loved if you have any of them and how you are finding them and let me know your thoughts on the ones i was unsure of whether to keep or return i would really appreciate your input so thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel it would mean a lot to me please hit the like button hit the notification bell so you don't miss my weekly uploads and as always i will see you in the next one so stay stylish.